Hey yo, what's up, what's up guys? It's me Kenneth and I'm back with another video. So for today's video as you guys requested and just like you have seen in the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my YouTube videos. This video is one of the most requested content of all time. I actually got a lot of comments, a lot of DMs, just a lot of questions on how I edit those aesthetic-ish videos. So the long wait is over. If you wanted to know how I edit my YouTube videos, just keep on watching. Again, I'm going to be showing you guys the basic things that I usually do while editing, of course. And finally, I'll be answering your frequently asked questions in this video. So the first one is, what software or editor do you use? Since I'm using a Windows type of system, I mainly use Wondershare Filmora since the time that I uploaded my very first video here in YouTube. And at first, I used the Filmora 8 that works really great and makes all the works easy and fast. But when Filmora finally launches their latest version of this app, which is the Filmora 9, it truly gives a lot more power and professional looking from its interface to the editing experience itself. By the way, this video is in collaboration with Wondershare Filmora. If you wanted to check this app, the link will be down on the description box. I guarantee you, you won't regret it. Also, I wanted to introduce to you guys where do I get those amazing packs of titles, transitions, audios, elements, and effects. The link will be also down in the description box if you wanted to check it out. And it is called as Film Talks. I think it is an allied company of Filmora. I'm not sure, but I think so. With Film Talks, you can get a lot of amazing audios, photos, and most especially those phenomenal effects for different genres. It will make your editing experience easier, a lot more faster, and most especially would make your videos into the next level. As you can see on the screen, those are the examples of what you can get on film stocks. Anyways, back into the video, the second most frequently asked question is, where do you get your music? Literally, I just use YouTube in getting those non-copyrighted or royalty-free musics. I have here my top YouTube creators who's very genuine in sharing their non-copyrighted musics. Also, you can check out my video about non-copyrighted musics right here in this card or down in the description box after you've finished watching this video. Also guys, if you're wondering how I've downloaded these files, basically I just go to yt.mp3.com where it converts you to videos to a music file or mp3 to be more specific. You guys can just copy the link of the video then paste it on a said website. After you finally converted it, it's now already set to be patched into your videos. Here are some of my favorite audios as of the moment. Cause it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do.
for the funds, you guys can check out my video right here in this card or again in the description box about the funds that I really use. But my favorite funds as of the moment are Keep On Tracking, Aerial Bold, Helvetica, and Shatterstone. One tip is in order to make your font more aesthetically pleasing is basically you can make gaps between those letters. In Final Cut Pro, it is called as tracking. Basically, you make this font into this more aesthetically pleasing kind of font. <laughs> Hang on, let's jump in onto editing. The first and the most important step that we all need to do is the rough cut. Basically, you just need to go back to your footages and just cut out all the unnecessary parts and the things that you don't want to be part of the video, such as the laughing parts and the dead air. Because you don't want to make your video like this. Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? It's me, Kenneth. And I'm back with another video. So, yeah. The second and the last step that I usually do. Oh, yeah, in this part, this is where the magic begins. And, yep, there's only two steps that you need to consider. Because this step is the one that takes a lot of time. So, yeah, back into the video. So this is what I call the creative editing where I used to put all the titles, the transition, the sound effects, background music, green screens, and etc. In this way, you can make your videos more professional looking and aesthetically pleasing as well. Also guys, most of the time I put borders into my videos. I don't know, I think it's kinda cute in my opinion. So for the sound effects, I mostly use the cork opener, pop, crowd laughing, bell transition and ding in terms of downloading same with those background music i just search them on youtube and if i feel that i need more sound effects i just search the thing that described to it on youtube then you guys can just copy the link of the video and then paste it on ytmp3.com and then there you have it same with those green screens and overlays after you converted it to MP4 file, I just insert it to my editor, then use to right click the video. Then methods will just pop up. Choose green screen. Then scroll down a little bit. There you can see the select color, offset, tolerance, and etc. First thing is to select a color. You can use this dropper thingy. I don't know what it really is, but anyways, click it into the background that you wanted to remove. You can also customize the transparency of the removed background using the tolerance and the other tools. And there you have it! Also, I forgot after I finally did the rough cut thingy, I just add zoom in and zoom out into those clips that I wanted to emphasize with, like this. Also, I have this optional part if I wanted to make my video more into fun part. I used to change the pitch of my voice. It's either in high pitch if I wanted to make my voice into a lot more smaller and into low pitch if I wanted to make my voice a lot more deeper or into And also, I joined it with an effect in distortion. I mainly use the fish eye and the narrow. You can customize it as well from the percentage, the position, and the alpha. Here you the video. Editing your YouTube. <laughs> Lastly, in order to make your videos more appealing and or aesthetically pleasing, I'd also add filters. I'll just pop out it in your screens because you know I'm not good at explaining things. Just the basic things. First, I use this kind of filter and I adjust the brightness, the highlights, shadows, and etc. To make this boring clip into this kind of looking. <laughs> Actually, that's all the things that I usually do in editing my YouTube video. I just add my intro as well as my outro. Just like what I've said, those are just the basic things that I usually do. If you want me to do a part 2 of this video, some tips, tricks, or things that you can do to make your video into the next level, just comment it down below and let's see. Thank you, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and help you in editing your YouTube videos. 
If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Also, click that notification bell beside for you to be updated to my future videos. Follow me on my social media accounts. It's Kenneto. If you wanted to be featured on my next videos, comment Lucky9. Again, thank you for watching and thank you Filmora for sponsoring this video. Happy 9,000 subscribers and see you on my next videos. Bye-bye! Oops, before I finally end up this video, I just wanted to thank you guys or those who commented on my last video, so here it is. End this.